So guys, check those positive vibes here. See? Beautiful small faces. You want to sell all box? Yeah. Like uh, all together, yeah. How much? Three five. Three five. Yeah. Twenty five. Yeah. Well, you see it a little bit full sale. Everybody sells 70, this is 35 for the whole box. Yeah. Good avocado, a little bit too much for me. Funny car. Hello. Uh, well, we are back to the market. Let me see what we have. All the beautiful Sinka muscles over here. Oh, Sinka muscles. Beautiful one. Yeah. Hello, guys. Hello. Hello, my friend. I see you have beautiful Sinka muscles today. Will I come back? I will come back. Oh, we see. Lava. 20. Okay. Here we have a little bit of Buku juice. Yeah, beautiful. Buku meat. I just love it. 150. You like this one? I buy very often this uh, buku meat. Only, <laughs> only the meat. Only the meat. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, make it with a durian, and uh, it's such a beautiful dessert for me. Yes. I just love it. <laughs> Huge amount of banana. <laughs> Well, let me see. Well, I guess I'm gonna go today for a little bit guava, maybe frozen durian. What else? What else? Hello, guys. Hello. Well, what else I can have? Uh, well, nothing much sweet. Well, I want a little bit frozen durian because I miss durian. But uh, this one, Bayabas Guava, is very good for the health. Very nice. Uh, good quality enzymes. Enzymes help digest all the fats and um, proteins in your body. Just need to find a good one. Mm -hmm. Well, beautiful. Just love the markets. Yeah. Well. Hello guys, hello. How's it going? You going good? <laughs> it's going good, yeah. Yeah, tiny one. How is your day? It's going good? It's a good day. Yeah? <laughs> so, let me see what we have. We have a little bit of uh, yeah, avocados. Abundance. Yeah, really abundance. Malachite and evergreen. Well, I like evergreen when it's uh, well ripened. Well, it's not, not, not exactly the best season now, you need to wait a little bit more. Yeah, it's gonna be, uh, yeah, it's gonna be in best uh, possible shape at this stage of the ripeness. Hello! Sinka mass. Beautiful. Well, let me see. Oversupply a little bit. A little bit beautiful papaya. Now we're gonna get a little bit beautiful, uh, beautiful Sinka mass. Well, we're gonna pick up some. So we have a little bit beautiful Sinkamas and now we're gonna get a little bit beautiful Bayabas. Yeah. yeah. Piladao. Yeah. Piladao 20. Piladao 20. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Adding words is bad. Yeah. So you see how beautiful Bayabas guava. Well, here we have a frozen durian place. We have a Rosario's durian jam. Show me please your frozen durian. Uh -huh, we'll see. So let me see. We have I guess uh, Puyat. 
Rosario. No. Welcome back. Yeah, in a box it's like this. Acer, acer dano, acer plastic. Acer plastic, yeah. Like this one. This is one, 160. Per kilo or all? Per, per box. Per box, yes. yeah. And this one is 170. Yeah, Three five, pieces, 170. 500 grams. Ah, it's 500 grams here, huh? okay. Oh, it's uh, here, it's a cube. October 1st. Okay. That's the Lanka. Uh, jackfruit, frozen jackfruit. Yeah. Okay, jackfruit, yeah. I see you have. And this one also 170, yeah? Yes. 170. 500 grams, yeah? Yes. And this is a. Uh, Nanam. Nanam, yeah. Let me see. Uh, Puyat, maybe? Yes. Maybe? And this one is 100. Uh, 160. 160, yeah? Okay. Well, you see in this line always like this, if you want to have something more than conventional things which you can have in the shopping malls, you need to go and either find them. And as for me, it's like an obligation for myself to have a clean and a quality food. Well, I'm gonna go to the fish market now. Flower shop. Flower shop. Oh, you're gonna sell the flowers. Beautiful. Yeah, Beautiful. Oh, yeah. I am black. It's, yeah, it's a busy corner here. It should be good business. Right. Yeah, yeah. So you guys working with the electricity, I see, yeah? No. Work hard. We're trying to do this. Oh. No one can do this. So you're going to be owners of the shop? I'm the florist. The one you're who the florist. The one to make, make the flower arrangement. Arrangement, composition, yeah, yeah beautiful. Yeah. That we call arranger, flower arranger. Well, sir, I'm gonna see you later then. I'm gonna be yeah, here around. Thank, thank you. you. Zuma, thank you so much. See you. Well, you see the future small business selling the flowers. The gang of the fish market. We're gonna see what we have here today. Baby tuna, sir. <laughs> Tambaka is my favorite one, small fish. Oh, really? What about, uh, what about uh, a rare fish, maybe lapu-lapu? Uh, lapu-lapu, we have none, sir. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, you gonna check around a little bit. Hello! Hello, hello, hello! Well, let's check what we have in the fish market. Hello, guys! Hello! What we have here, we have the Dangus. Okay, guys, thank you. Dangus. New delivery of Bangus, I see. Hi, Philippines. Hello, hello, guys. My blog. Hello, 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 hello. Hello. Bangus. Carabalias, we have today. Fish, very good one. Yeah. Totally agree. Fresh one, beautiful. Hello. Yeah, we have a little bit of bangles. Hello guys, hello. Nice piece of the tuna. How many kilos? Well sir, I'm gonna think a little bit, gonna think, gonna think. It's going good? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, guys, positive vibes. Well, we're gonna take a little bit tuna, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Well, we see have a retired teacher. Yeah. How was your experience here in uh, in the schools? How you think is uh, Filipino children are uh, uh, open for the new knowledge, or they a little bit uh, conservative? Okay, okay. No, uh, children from my from the Balot Island is very conservative because that is a mountain surrounded by water, yeah. and they are not familiar with the city activities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are very generous. They like people. Well, yeah, yeah. People. As always, as always, you see the thing is if you live in an environment where is. Uh, 
less industrialization. Uh, people are gonna be more open, they're gonna be more smiley, more simple. And that's that's the thing you see, and I don't blame. It's okay. It's also a very good lifestyle if you live in some small village, fisherman village, or farmer. maybe mountain farmer. It's a beautiful lifestyle. Beautiful, yeah. yeah, lifestyle is perfect. Uh, yeah. That's right there, Blaan, mostly in, in our island, Blaan. Blaan in Indonesia. All tribes from the Philippines are present there. But mostly Blan. Our mayor there is Blan. Well, yeah, and also some of some of pupils, you see, they are very bright. They have a predisposition to the sign. They maybe can draw very beautiful, but not brain. So then they need to have an education so they can find their place in life. They can be inventors, they can be scientists. Not everybody want to be farmers. So we need to have this uh, ability to choose what you want to do in your life. If you want to be educated, you can go and you can be and educated. Go, you can go anywhere. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, that's going to be my piece of the do. Piece of uh, tuna. What kind of tuna is this one? Bluefin, yellowfin, yellowfin tuna. Yes, we was talking. Uh, each another choose what kind of lifestyle they want to live. Well, I guess it's important that the kids are here busy with the work, and then they are exposed to all options in life. They're gonna see uh, the businessman. They're gonna see other people who walk around on the market. And then they can uh, estimate what kind of lifestyle they want to live. Or they want to be farmers, they want to be fishermen. They want to work in the market. And maybe they want to be engaged in a, in a site. They can become a teacher, scientist. Options is uh, limitless. I think which is important that we have uh, options. If the children want to choose the lifestyle which is uh, uh, city oriented, scientifically oriented, they have a chance, we can have a education and then can be hello hello you have a very nice bike oh nice <laughs> yeah thank you sir so and then they have a chance so they can be uh, uh, anyone uh, what they think they are supposed to be in the life buzzy 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 market Kids are playing everywhere. A very positive place. Hello, hello, hello. Selling the charcoal. So many people still cooking with the charcoal. That's the beautiful lemon grass. Smile, Smile. Yeah. Beautiful greenery. Melon Valley. Beautiful okra. Well, you see people understand the value of the fresh greenery. That's very, very important. Well, as always, as I say, if only if it could be organic ones. Then it uh, could be the best thing which you can eat. Fresh veggies, nice fruits. The only requirement, clean and organic, which is the most difficult thing to, to do. Yeah. Reduction and delivery of the organic fruit, uh, organic food. It's uh, time consuming and difficult. And, uh, difficult to make the money. But anyway, that's the way to go, and um, if you are rich enough to eat clean, so you can do that. As we, as we call the most of the food which we have is uh, junk food. But if you're rich enough, of course you're going to be going for the clean and organic food. That's uh, undoubtedly the choice of the sensible and uh, well-established person. A little bit corn. Chopped veggies. Yeah. 
Yeah. Let me check the central part of the valve. Shopping place, I will say. It's not like a mall. It's uh, called Uni City. Different kind of goods. Oh, uh, Lugas. Well, we have a solar system. Tiny one. And. Okay, let me see where we are. That's the Philippines. You see, there's the Philippines. That's the Europe, the beautiful Europe from Greece to North, a beautiful place. You see, Pacific Ocean, yeah, beautiful world, and you have a tropical climate. Indonesia, Borneo Island, beautiful Bali. Those islands are beautiful, beautiful Sumatra, Malaysia, Vietnam, Thailand. This is the best place on planet Earth, this region over here. Beautiful islands over here. Also here. Beautiful region. And of course Caribbean. All this region is just a magical. Yeah. Maybe we'll play something else. Foldable. Oh, Find some nice chairs so we can make it, make a stream. So we can sit down somewhere on the beach. Uh, have a nice discussion. That could be my, my streaming chair. No. <laughs> yeah. Not in the big thing to sit on it. Too small. Tiny one. Well this one is a little bit too big to carry around. But this could be very cozy. Sit down. Enjoy the view and uh, get the stream. Yeah. A little bit too big, difficult to find a foldable fisherman find. Tiny one. Well, we're back to the market. I guess I'm gonna pick up a little bit. Some veggies for me for the evening. Check a little bit. Veggie market. Hello. Mm -hmm, yeah. Yeah, cabbages, carrots. Yeah, hello. You have funny ears. <laughs> yeah. Cabbages. Carrots, potatoes. Well, all typical suspects. Yeah. Well, as always, the only one thing if it could be organic. 
Otherwise, you're just passing by this one and think, yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe. But I typically choose the things which is more or less organic, clean. Uh, if you're gonna look on a produce which is produced uh, industrially, it's gonna be always overdose of the chemicals. You can go for uh, durian, it's gonna be growing on the trees. Not exposed so much to the chemicals. Pomelos. Bye, Abbas. Hello. Hello. Also, Sinkamas, uh, which is a turnip. Oh. It's a good thing. So, there's a choice. Well, that's it. That's it for the day. That's it for the market today. Well, that's it for me today in the market. See what's happening with the weather. Yeah, a little bit kind of grayish, as you see. Could be rain. Each day, afternoon, to be cautious. Don't waste time so much, go back around 3 or 4 o'clock. It was the neighborhood, besides the market. As always, you can see positive vibes. Children are playing. Hello! So, as always, with a huge amount of positive vibes. Yeah, it's a plane. Well, yeah. Easy, busy, me. See the small kids are carrying the stuff, making some luck. 20 pesos for taking out garbage. Uh, delivering some small baggie here and there. Check this beautiful frozen durian. Well, the beauty of it is uh, that you can have durian in any time in the season or out of season. Uh, that's the frozen durian, which you can put in the fridge and it can stay in the fridge for uh, several months. When the durian is out of season, you can definitely enjoy this one. This particular is a beautiful duyaya. Still have its uh, smell, beautiful smell and beautiful taste. I guess uh, my favorite way uh, consume durian is uh, as a dessert, something as an ice cream. By texture, the durian, for example, uh, puyat, I'm gonna remind you uh, a very creamy, beautiful ice cream. So best substitute for the dairy milk ice cream, this uh, clean, beautiful durian. This is gonna remind you uh, best quality ice creams. Fats, proteins, and uh, carbs. More or less, I will say healthy proportions. Maybe a little bit too high on the side of the carbs. But if you're physically active, uh, it's definitely gonna be one of the best desserts which you can eat. If you take durian which is not that ripened, uh, you're gonna have a little bit less uh, sugar content, less carbs. So uh, in my understanding, uh, durian could be best substitute for any dessert. You have uh, several varieties, several dozen varieties of durian, more subtle, less subtle, more sweet, less sweet. So in this regard, you also have uh, huge opportunities to broaden your palate with different beautiful tastes. It's not going to be like you're going to be eating one kind of durian all the time and you get bored. You're going to take this beautiful duyaya, next day you can take uh, yeah, less sweet, which is a native one. Then you want to go for a little bit more uh, rich flavor, uh, meaty, uh, creamy one. You're gonna take Puyat. And uh, here in the Philippines, you have around 20, 30 different varieties, but in the world, there's around 300 different varieties of durian. 
Well, what kind of benefits a frozen durian? Of course, if you have a fresh durian, you go for the fresh one. But if it's out of season, and uh, you may be in a spot or place where you can uh, cannot get the fresh durian, definitely frozen durian is going to be a second option. Um, if you're going to compare fresh durian with the frozen durian, percentagely, I would say the taste, the flavor, and smell is going to be 80% of the fresh one. If you worry about vitamins and minerals, then I can inform you that the minerals are going to stay anyway. And uh, vitamins, well, the vitamins um, form of uh, enzymes or coenzymes, uh, they're going to be degradation. But how much? Uh, well, it's difficult to say. But the uh, majority of the vitamins uh, is going to be present here. All the health benefits of durian in the frozen form, I guess it's a smart choice to go by frozen durian when it's out of the season. Well guys, the smell is beautiful. Even if it's frozen, it still smells. I will say it's 80% of the original. Now it's time to check it out. You see this beautiful palette. Beautiful duya yeah. Try this this beat. Mm. It's cold, frozen, so you can eat it as an ice cream. Well, the taste of the frozen durian is nearly 80%, approximately maybe sometimes more of the fresh one. Definitely good choice to pick up frozen durian over the any ice cream which you have in your shopping mall. This is gonna be mainly clean organic and healthy food it's not going to be alternating your endocrine system in the wrong way and you're going to get a punch of the beautiful subtle creamy tastes frozen durian in hot sunny day it's a best dessert one of the last beats well with durian is always like this when it goes to the finish, you think, okay, I need another one. <laughs> In the season, that's very easy. You go for another one. You just look on your state of the, I will say, overweightness. So then you can adjust how much you're going to eat. Typically, you, of course, end up uh, overeating the durian. But it's very difficult to stop. Such a beautiful fruit. Indeed, durian is a king of the fruits.